Okay, good evening, student. Today we'll discuss about the chapter which we have studied last lecture, that was transportation in animal. In our last lecture, we discussed about the working of the heart. How does the work of the heart will take place inside the body? Today we'll discuss about how the blood will circulate inside the entire body, and this is known as the circulation of the blood. This is basically known as the this is basically known as the circulation of the circulation of the blood. In the circulation of blood, basically we will deal about the topic that how the blood will reach to the heart and how it again supply to the rest of the body. Then we draw a flow chart of the, that particular part that is that we start with the diagram of the heart. We know that there are four chambers of the heart is there. There are four chambers of heart is there. We draw the chart heart here. We have four chambers of heart here. You know that first, suppose I draw lungs here, this is suppose that this is the box in this box, we draw here the lungs and at the lower part we draw here the, we draw here the organ. We know that from the entire body the blood is carried by the, blood is carried by two major veins and these two major veins are basically superior and inferior vena cava superior and inferior vena cava superior and inferior vena cava basically they pour the blood inside the right auricle we have already studied about that they basically pour the blood inside the right auricle this is the right part of the heart chamber that blood will move to the next part this is known as the then from here the uh, again the vein carry the blood from here uh, this is the pulmonary artery this is suppose that this is the pulmonary artery and this is pulmonary artery it will reach to the lungs here this is it will reach to the lungs and the blood which is inside it is it is deoxygenated. This deoxygen. When the blood reaches to the lungs, the lungs will purify the blood, and again, the vein, which is termed as the the vein, which is termed as the pulmonary vein, two from each lungs. There are two from each lungs, and the blood which is coming will be dark red in color. It, this, this blood will be dark red in color. It will fill inside the right auricle and from right auricle it will move to the sorry first it will fill inside the left auricle then it will move to the left ventricle then from the left ventricle there are again a artery which is termed as this is the artery this basically circulates the pure blood to the different organs of the body this will circulate the pure blood to the different Organs. This is the major artery. This term is a dorsal aorta. This is term as the pulmonary artery, and this one term is a pulmonary. So there are two major exceptions of the arteries and veins. These two major exceptions are pulmonary artery and veins. We are why we are calling it exception because being uh, features of artery they have to carry the impure blood and respective with I deal with the vein being a vein they have to carry the pure blood but why we are calling them the arteries and vein because arteries carry blood always away from the heart so pulmonary arteries is carrying blood away from the heart and veins are the pipes which basically carry the blood towards the heart so pulmonary veins is carry blood from lungs to the heart so this is the total circulation of the body if i again uh, write the flow chart of the entire system then we we'll start with that first the blood will coming to the heart this is the heart from heart it will move to the organ from organ it will move to the again heart and from heart it moves to the lungs and from lungs it again moves to the heart so blood have to circulate two times first here and second here. So this is the kind of circulation in which blood has to complete two circulation through the heart to complete its own single circulation. This term is basically used as a 
सर्कुलेशन एंड टर्म ऑफ डबल सर्कुलेशन डबल सर्कुलेशन ऑफ द ब्लड ऑफ द सो दिस इज द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ द हार्ड वर्किंग इज दैट ऑल ऑफ द डेवलप्ड ऑर्गेनिज्म हैविंग डबल सर्कुलेशन ऑफ द ब्लड एंड दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट हाउ द डबल सर्कुलेशन विल टेक प्लेस इनसाइड द ह्यूमन बीइंग एंड इनसाइड ऑल ऑफ द डेवलप्ड ऑर्गेनिज्म let's now discuss about the working of a heart and basically this is known as a cycle of the heart and basically first we'll deal about the how the beat will generate so basically we'll deal the next topic that's a heart beat generation that's a topic that's term is a heart beat generation this is term is a heart beat basically heart beat is a kind of sound produced by the heart and in this sound there are two kinds of sound first sound that is a lub l u b and the second this is the first sound and the second sound will be the dub so the first sound lub comes when i give the restrictive idea about that lubs come when there is a closing of they come this sound will come then when the closing of the closing of bicuspid and tricuspid valve bicuspid and tricuspid and dub sound generate when dub sound generate when when the closing of ventricle wall this is term as a semi lunar the closing of ventricle wall basically this is known as a semi lunar so this is the simple heart beat generation and simple beat sound of the human heart and the beat of the other organism this is all about the circulation of the blood and this is the beat generation next we we'll deal about that how the blood is to the different part there is a kind of pressure will be generated by the blood so next term we will use the next topic that is the pressure of the blood this term is a blood it is the pressure inserted by the heart to the blood during the process of circulation basically this pressure is basically the contractional relaxation process pressure so we can simply say that there are two kinds of two kinds of pressure generated by the heart two kinds of pressure generated by the heart first the pressure of contraction first the pressure of constriction second the pressure of dilation the first pressure the first pressure basically term is the first pressure term is the first pressure is term is is term this systolic pressure and the second pressure in the second pressure is termed as diastolic pressure so if i calculate the value of the systolic and diastolic pressure the value of systolic pressure is 120 and the value of diastolic is 80 and it is measured by it is measured by a equipment known as sigmo mano meet and the actual value is basically defined with the value of the mercury present inside the tube and this value is very important for the exam point of view that the student should learn about the exact value and i use around that 120 oblique at hg 120 oblique at mm of hg this is the actual value of the human heart circulation so that's all about the heart working and circulation of the heart then this is the actual phenomena of the heart heart working blood pressure and this all for today's and in our next class we'll deal about the next topic